this is my cat, and my cat destroys atheism. Because with atheism, they will make fun of people who believe in faith, or who have faith, and but if you look at the atheist theories like the Big Bang or all this other garbage I used to believe in when I was an atheist, um, it takes more faith to believe in that than believe in a creator. And if you want to go proof on that, the law of cause and effect, sorry, not the law of cause and effect, the thing of the uh, first cause, basically, um, every everything that has a beginning would have to have, has to have a cause, so the first cause has to be uh, infinite and self-existing or else it would have to have a cause itself. Basically, this cat right here is proof of God because it would have a beginning and a cause, so the cause that created it would have to be infinite and self-existing, or else it would need to cause itself. So that's how my cat destroys atheism. Not to mention the fact, just, just go out in nature and just look around at the uh, nice uh, landscape, the nice design. There's obviously intelligent design. I think this all happened by chance or from, big, from some kind of nuclear explosion where the universe expanded from nothing and you know that I mean, here's what it comes down to what atheism believes um, nothing exploded and created the universe which expanded from nothing we all came from algae uh, basically bacteria in the water that somehow I guess grew and they got bigger and then grew arms and legs over time and then you know and then we came from animals and then those animals somehow evolved and were smarter and everything like that I mean you know, it takes more faith to believe in that than believe in a creator. So, my cat destroys atheism at the fact of it would have to ha the cause that created it would have to be self-existing and innocent, or else it would need to cause itself. Every physical object you see is proof of God, because anything finite proves the infinite. So, you hear that, Boa? You actually disprove atheism just by existing. So, yeah, he's just looking at me like, what are you going on about? But. Yeah, you look at your you have a pet, you know, just look at him and say that's that's all the proof you need against atheism. And I'm a former atheist, so I know what it's like to believe all the, the stupid garbage that atheism says and espouses. It's not to mention the fact that communism is a direct result of atheism and, uh, you know, rationalism, you know, so called rationalism, um, all that wonderful stuff. So, not to mention the fact that evolution also fits the Romans 1 description of, you know, changing the image of the incorruptible God into an image like, like an incorruptible man, that's what evolution is, you know, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, these university professors professing themselves to be wise, yeah, Romans 1 perfectly describes atheists and these atheist university professors, so don't be deceived by atheism, again, I'm a former atheist, don't be deceived by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.